So, rice cakes. Everyone's always talking about them and I've had so many people say to me, I actually don't know how to make them. So I'm gonna go through my recipe for how I make rice cakes. People make them different ways. This is the Maddie Nut recipe. This is like the most common food that I'd say most professional cyclists use if you feel they're riding. Definitely racing. I mean, some cyclists I know get sick of rice cakes when training, but I actually quite like to use them when training when I'm doing long rides. So tomorrow I've got an eight hour ride on the cards. So I really need to think about what I'm gonna eat. And rice cakes can make up a really good like carb source. So yeah, here we go. So I use arborio rice or sushi rice. Essentially, I use a short grain rice that, sorry, let me show you what it is. This is M&S because I'm a classy gal. <laughs> you need rice that's gonna soak up a lot of liquid and you can use long grain rice, but I've tried it and it doesn't make very good rice cakes, so. Short grain rice. The best rice I used was glutinous rice, which is like proper Asian sticky rice, but that's quite hard to source. So arborio rice, all supermarkets, cheap, like one pound something a bag. So. I'm gonna try and make enough rice cakes for me for a couple of days training. Um, so I'm just gonna make one cup of rice to two cups of water. Now you can obviously scale this up, but I do a two to one ratio. Just pour it into your old rice cooker. Best investment I've ever made in my life. I would recommend getting a rice cooker. I have considered upgrading. Someone told me they have a 300 pound rice cooker and I got a little bit jealous. Okay, so now we're gonna add two cups. Are you okay, Courtney? <laughs> <laughs> Cameraman just fell over. We're gonna add two cups of water. One thing you can do that's really good, but I wouldn't do this for a rice cake recipe. Actually, no, that's overcomplicating it. Just go with water. <laughs> Are you gonna suggest coconut water? Yeah, I like to use coconut water and coconut milk when I make rice, but that's not a now thing. We're just gonna go for the simple water recipe. So two to one, water to arborio rice. I am gonna add some sugar in now. Brown sugar, personal preference. I'm gonna add two tablespoons. And the great thing about rice cakes is they're super versatile. So like, they can be sweet, they can be savory. I'm gonna make today, flavor wise, I've had to think about what's in the flat and I'm gonna make like apple cinnamon raisin, I think. Mm. I think that's my flavors. I might put like a little layer of almond butter in between. We'll see how it turns out. But yeah, I'm thinking really simple flavor today, but you can honestly make any flavor of rice cakes. And Bisco. I yeah, biscoff, although I would say that that is a waste of a jar of biscoff because it doesn't taste that biscoffy and you've used a whole jar of biscoff. And it's also, without getting nerdy on it, when you look at the macros, you want to have as much carbs as you can with as little fat and biscoff isn't the best for that. So macros wise, you just kind of want to make it maybe rice or if you're going to add anything, add something that's carbs. But I have made egg ones before to add a bit of protein, which were actually really good. That sounds gross. So give it all a little stir in the old rice cooker. And then, great thing about a rice cooker, you press rice and it cooks. And I just leave it and I come back and it's done. And then we'll get on to the next step when that comes back. We've gone away, we've come back and the rice is all cooked. And what we want to mix in, and this is the key, Desiccated coconut is what makes it stick together. And I learned this from a good friend, Toby Perry. Thanks, Toby. I didn't measure the desiccated coconut. That was like a third of a cup. And then, that's half a teaspoon. That's one very huge teaspoon of cinnamon. This is one apple grated. These are the juiciest raisins. And then just mix it all in. I don't know if this was the right tool. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely wasn't. So then you put the rice mixture and you want to really compact it so that 
it solidifies into rice cakes. And then what I do is I let it cool, I cover it, stick it in the fridge overnight, and then in the morning, I'll show you what I do, but in the morning we take it out and we cut them. But that should make, I think that's gonna make about eight, maybe eight huge bars. But yeah, that's my rice cake recipe. Good morning. Um, I have let the rice cakes sit in the fridge overnight. So I've let them sit overnight so that they can kind of like form their shape. Um, and now it's time going on an eight hour ride. So I definitely need use some. And I'm gonna wrap them in this special paper, which is parchment on one side, full on the other. I found it on Amazon. Um, I don't know where else you can buy it, to be honest. Like this is the official stuff that you wanna be using, rice cakes, um, hard to find but I did find it on Amazon. So this video is sponsored by Chimney Fire Coffee, which is my coffee sponsor, and they do amazing ethical focused stuff in the coffee space. Like they're really ethically focused, amazing coffee, and they've sponsored this video and a couple of other ride nutrition videos. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. Um, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. <laughs> Whilst I prep my rice cakes this morning, So that's what it looks like in the morning. So I'm gonna use this board to hopefully flip it out. I might have stuck them in too hard. Oh yes. Here we go. So it's quite a deep <laughs> rice cake, but there's our rice cake block. And now we're gonna cut it and wrap them. So, deciding how many to make. Okay, slightly uneven, just to show you that. So that's the consistency of a rice cake. And it looks quite good. Here's our rice cakes. This is the bit I've not nailed. They can be on the inside, but on the outside. There is a better official method of doing this. That one's actually quite neat. I'm quite proud of that. And like, if you do different flavors, you can then write like apple. So when I come to eat this one, I go, oh, apple. And that goes in my jersey pocket. Actually, you can do that now. I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna pop a few of those in my pocket and then the rest in the fridge. And they last four to five days in the fridge, which is a pretty decent amount of time. So thank you for joining me for my rice cake tutorial. And thank you, Chimney Fire Coffee, so much for sponsoring this video. I am going to get on my bike because I've got eight hours to do and I've got some work to do when I get back. So I need to get out now. Um, I'm going to ride towards Midhurst. I'm actually going to go to Cadence. I've never been to Cadence Cycling Cafe and I'm only allowed a 15 minute stop on my training plan in this eight hour ride. So I can't stop properly at Cadence, but I'm thinking it's a good location to fill up bottles. I might down an espresso <laughs> if I need one, which I probably will.